Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm at London Paddington today. We're allowed to travel on trains again. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get on the train and we're going to go to Acton because Acton is the only place in Britain that has a north, south, east and west station but it also has Acton Main Line, Acton Central and Acton Town. So we're going to go and find a crossrail train which will be somewhere over there and um, we're going to travel to Acton Main Line and when we get there we'll explore all the other stations of Acton. Well this bit of the video wasn't planned. They seem to cancel every train that was going to Acton Mainline from Paddington. When I say every train, there was one in about an hour, but um, I didn't really want to wait an hour. So what I did was I got on the next available train to Ealing Broadway, and I'm now walking from Ealing Broadway to Acton Mainline Station. So I'm going to hopefully get in, have a look around the new station, show you the old one as well. Um, but I'm not actually going to go anywhere because my plan was to walk from Acton uh, main line to another access station. We'll get on to that soon. But regarding cancelling trains, I always remember on the Great Western Main Line quite often, you know, I'd go to Taplow to watch trains and especially if a steam train was coming through. And what would happen is if, say, the All Stations train to Reading was cancelled, quite often the um, semi fast to Oxford would sometimes stop in its place. But here it seems if you want to go to Acton Main Line from Paddington, you just had to wait ages, so I might not actually have got there any quicker, but I'm an active sort of person, I didn't fancy sitting around at Paddington for too long, so hence the reason we're walking through Acton from Ealing Broadway, so we're just going to continue on forwards, and soon we shall be at Acton Mainline Station. That's Acton House behind me, that Art Deco building, and the Acton Mainline Station and its new station building is just here in front of me. Now interestingly, this is the oldest station in Acton, but it's also got the newest station building, or perhaps I should say it's, it was the first station to serve Acton because I shouldn't think there's very much left of the original, but here we are. Here's the new Acton Mainline Station. So it opened in 1868, just as plain Acton, because it was the only Acton station, and the mainline suffix was added in 1949 so i've got a travel card today so i'm going to use that to get me through the ticket barriers in fact as this one's open i'm just going to walk straight through so i've got a ticket and um because is if on queue whenever i try putting these for a ticket barrier and filming it doesn't always work but let's just have a quick look so now has ticket barriers this station it didn't used to we'll go and have a look at the old station building while it's still there so um another station on the great western main line now to have ticket barriers it's also the only one in London, or, um, on the Great Western Main Line in London, that I've not actually ever been to before. That's where we were a moment ago. So this footbridge, um, yeah, good for watching cars and buses. Well, look, and there's a Class 66 out there, number 69. So um, I was about to say, is it any good for watching trades? I don't need to ask that question. It clearly is. If we go down here, we might just get a good view of the 66. There she goes. I'm surprised, really, I know it's me, but about myself, I'm surprised with myself I've not been to this railway station before, because it's like one of the best ones for seeing um, good trains and diesel locos, so only I can answer that question, I don't know the answer why I've never been here before, but I haven't, but here we are, my very first time, this is a winning station for me today, back to Mainline, I'm not even getting a train, but what we're certainly going to do is have a look at the station, so here we are has lifts now so you know fully accessible which is a good thing everyone can access it but there's the old station ticket office just up there so previously just had these steps there's no platforms on the fast lines i've seen another class 66 up here um oh look and there's a um purple line train crossrail train coming in so is that one going to stop yeah so if i had waited at paddington that would have been the train I'd have got. So by, by going to um, Ealing Broadway and walking back, I've got here in exactly the same time than I would have, you know, if I'd sat around at Paddington. So I could have sat around, but I quite enjoyed the walk. And there is 66, number 58, 568, sorry. So let you have a look at that. So, um... Not a lot else to show you really, I've shown you most of the station. That's Acton House there, that big Art Deco building. 
Fuck off, I'm the party. Number 60, 345060. All the other class 66s have gone right down the end of the yard, so I doubt we'll be able to see them from the platform. There's one other thing I want to show you, see where they've extended it, just up here, the platform. That is to accommodate the nine car trains of the Elizabeth Line, or purple trains or crossrail. Nice to see, got some flowers on the station, making it, you know, bright and everything. I think we might see, whether we'll see any Heathrow Expresses or any other Great Western trains on the main line passing through, but not so sure. There's like a little workers' compound, so it's still not quite finished really, this station. And then here the platform extension begins. I'm not going to go any further up there because I'm not going to get any closer to those Class 66s. I'm going to now make my way out because I don't actually need to catch a train here. So that's the new Acton Mainline Station building, and there's the old one. Let's go across the road and have a a little look, there's not a lot to see, and um, we'll have a look. So, yes, there's a new station entrance, so anyone arriving here who didn't know, we'll have to go down there. So I assume, yeah, you'd have, um, whether there was a ticket office, so yeah, you used to be able to buy your ticket there. we have gone down there for the down platform, and then this little area here effectively was the concourse, so they never ever had ticket barriers here, probably because, well, they technically they could have had a line here, but they put a little shelter for the into London platform, which um, is typical. Whenever I wanted to get a train here, as I was saying earlier, no trains were stopping. There's now one coming in the opposite direction, which is stopping. So maybe I just, just bad timing, but um, it's a bit frustrating. I mean, I don't mind walking, but if you had heavy luggage, we wouldn't be best pleased. So the crossrail train has stopped, and there's that class 66 down there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to walk 957 yards to North Acton Station. I was making my way through this jungle of modern tower blocks looking for North Acton Station. And North Acton Station is on the central line of the London Underground. It's quite a late opening, well, it opened in 1923. There was a hole because behind it is the old Great Western North Main Line, which has now closed um, in preparation for building HS2. But there was once a hole on that, but that didn't last particularly long and wasn't really necessary because on the whole all the trains used in that line were expresses to places further afield like Birkenhead so the um, London Underground sufficed. So here there's the Roundel. It's all been quite recently redeveloped. I've not been here for a while and it was never anything like this. I've opened this North Acton Square and down there there's the station. So we're going to go down and have a look and um, what we're going to do, we're going to travel towards London to our next Acton station, and I'm going to have to come back on myself. So this is the only station, Acton station, that, you, that the next station that way and the next station that way is an Acton, although technically it's actually the junction of the West Rice line. So there's um, three next stations from here. I know it's getting complicated, and two of them are Acton. We've got all these modern buildings. And now I'm going to have to stop filming in a second to put my face covering on, find my ticket and go through the ticket barriers into North Acton Station. There's a central line train arriving that's going to West Rysip, so that's one that will not be stopping at any Acton stations after North Acton. So looking that way, you've got the brick bridge. The next bridge down there, that carries the North London line, which um, I will end up on later because that's got some Acton stations. The disused tracks there, that is the old North Main line, which I have travelled on a few times when I used to divert trains from Marylebone to Paddington. But you can see they've started lifting it and there's actually track all stacked up. And then here we get quite a good view of the station. But I'm going to run down the steps now and get on this train because it will take me to my next action station. Well, here we are at East Acton. This station was opened in 1920, so the one station down the central line towards London from 
Northampton. Now this one was opened by the Great Western Railway as a line to connect the Great Western Main Line to the um, network of other railway lines down at Shepherd's Bush. There's another train just pulling in. So what we'll do, once this train has been and gone, we'll leave the station. But there's some quite nice original Great Western features to show you. So before it came part of the Central Line Network, you'd have seen steam trains coming through here, goods trains, passenger trains, all sorts of Great Western steam locos would have been here. So it seems really sort of strange now to see it as um, the Central Line station, but then if you go to other parts of the Central Line, such as um, up towards Epping, then they're old Great Eastern Railways and they would have you know, been served by steam trains before the London Underground came along, so I'm just going to follow the train out of the station. But there's something very great western up here to show you before we leave. So um, we'll have to wait for that train to go to show you the one on that side. But I can certainly show you on this side we have some old great western shelters. So just have a look at those. Restored in great western colours, which I think is really nice. And this one's still waiting and you can actually go in this one and have a look. So it looks like it's completely made out of wood. It's not a brick structure, it's a wooden structure. The other station I know of to have old Great Western shelters is Devon Golf Club, but they are corrugated iron shelters. Now, as the train departs, it will reveal the part on the other side. There we go. Now, I'll make my way out of the station. So when you get to the end of the platform, you go down here and the ticket office is just down the stairs. Right. I'm going to go down here to the ticket office. Here we are outside East Acton Station. It's in a residential area. It's almost like a garden city to me. It all looks very uniform that they've uh, built the houses, you know, around a set plan. Just like the Garden City movement, there's places such as Welling Garden City. It all looks really nice. There's those towers over there in the background where we were at North Acton. So let you have a look at the housing estates of East Acton. And then I'm going to go back to the station and um, we're going to travel to the other remaining Central Line station in Acton. different to what we saw at East Acton, West Acton, the station building, it's kind of a look. 
The only intermediate station this is on the branch to Ealing Broadway. Well, technically, which one is the branch? Is this is the main line to Ealing Broadway, or is the main line to West Rice? Or are they just equal? I don't really know. But well, actually, the majority of trains seems to be going to Ealing Broadway. So, it's, um, first Art Deco station we've seen today. I know we saw the Art Deco building next to Acton Main Line, but that wasn't a railway station. Just starting to rain as well, as the announcement suggests. station. I like how at the ends of, so you come down the stairs on each side and then you've got these nice curved little waiting rooms. So it's not a Charles Holden station as um, quite a lot of London underground stations are. You see the nice curved, the curved wooden bench so this is Art Deco but it's slightly different to the Charles Holden style. building, certainly well deserving of its grade 2 listed status. There's a train about to pull in, can you see that? Here we are, in the ticket hall, nice and light, in, just like how the Charles Holden stations are, but as I said this one isn't Charles Holden. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find my ticket, I'm going to get out and um, I'm going to walk not to an Acton station this time. So I'm outside the ticket barriers now. We're going to step outside the station and as I said I'm going to walk to not an Acton station. I'm going to walk to North Ealing on the Piccadilly line because that's about the best place for me to get a station to get a train to Acton Town, the next station I'd like to visit. So there we are, there's West Acton station. I'm now going to walk through the housing estate, as I said, to North Ealing on the Piccadilly line. I'm not doing all the Ealing stations today, maybe another day. So here we are, outside North Ealing station. So, as I said, um, not an Acton station, but it just was a convenient for me to add it in to get to North Ealing. So this station was opened in 1903 by the District Railway. And um, it's got a quite traditional railway station feel rather than tube station, but the um, service was replaced by the Piccadilly line in 1932. Never been here before, so where do I go? Ah, so yeah, that's nice. Look, two trains to Harrow and Uxbridge. That way's just the men's toilet, so I don't need to go there. It looks like the bridge is this way. I really like this station. It's a nice old lattice foot bridge. The only thing I'd say is it's um, not um, got disabled access, but maybe one day. I'll put another bridge in and make it disabled access, but just look at that, it's, it feels like a rural country station rather than um, station somewhere in London, so I think this is a very pleasant station, so I'm going to wait for my train and we're going to get out of Ealing, perhaps one day we'll do all the stations of Ealing and we'll go and find an Acton station, sorry I'm looking really silhouetted at the moment, so I'm going to get on the platform and get my train. I've arrived at North Acton. This is one of the Charles Holden stations. So when I was saying when we were at West Acton, that was Art Deco style, but not Charles Holden. There's a Piccadilly line train coming in. Now this station was opened by the District Railway. Today there's no District Lines train stopping here due to engineering work, but it was originally called Mill Hill Park, which, um, not to be confused with Mill Hill on the Northern Line, because that's nowhere near here, but it was called Mill Hill Park. Um, it was on the um, on the Piccadilly line to Ealing Broadway, so where we were at our last station, that was on a later branch, open towards Park Royal. And then, um, as I said, 1910 it became Acton Town, but the Piccadilly line didn't start calling here until 1932. So we're now going to go up, have a look at the Charles Holden station building, make our way out, and then I'm going to walk from here to Acton South. So this is our final station on the London Underground at Acton. The next two Acton stations are on the London Overground. London 
I really like this concrete style. See how you can see the wooden effect from where it would have been carved in wood. Wooden shuttering, they've taken the shuttering away and you get the wooden effect in the concrete. Here you can effectively do a complete circle. Not square rather, you can walk around right the way around in a circle. Oh, square. Not going to do it today then. So, I just love this Art Deco style there. It's fantastic, high quality architecture. I um, much prefer this you know, to, like, say, the new station as to what we saw at Acton Mainline. Now we're going to go through into the big Holden Ticket Hall. It's a fantastic piece of architecture. So as we come out here, we've got Acton Depot over there, also the Museum Depot. In fact, let's cross the road and we can have a look at the station building from the outside. I can take this off now, now we're out the station. So we're going to go across. And you just see over there, big letters, the words museum written. So we'll have to go there to the Museum Depot. They've also got a miniature railway. So um, technically there's one Acton station. I've just realised I'm not doing the Acton Miniature Railway Station which is, um, well, this is Acton Town, as, as you know, the Charles Holden building. If I was to walk along that road over there, up there's the Museum Depot. There's a miniature railway there, so that is on my list to do as a miniature railway. Britain episode, we'll do that in the future. So that's one Acton station we're not doing today. I'm now going to walk from here to South Acton, but let's just see another Piccadilly Line train coming in. walking through a housing estate on my way from Acton Town to South Acton. Just passing these tower blocks, this is the Park Road East Estate, I believe. But this tower here, this one's quite famous, this is Harlech Tower, but it's better known as Nelson Mandela House in Peckham because it's where Only Fools and Horses was filmed. They actually lived in this tower block and um, there is talk of demolishing this estate. And, um, but because of this one's place in television, there is a campaign to try and save it. So I'm not sure what the latest is, but I know they've been, this estate here on this side, different, slightly different era, everything's covered in brick. You can see from there onwards, they've um, redeveloped it. So this estate basically carried on in the same format all the way down there, but they've demolished up to here. So this tower block here, which isn't quite as tall as Arlick Tower, is still standing, but um, I'm not sure, it's called Frampton Court, this one. Looks like it's lived in, but there are some boarded up windows. But there is talk that all of this could be demolished soon and um, replace the buildings like this, which would be rather a shame. Although if they blow them up, it would be um, quite spectacular to see. But somehow I think if we won't blow them up, um, they'll probably just, you know, um, munch them down. But then maybe they'll be saved and um, refurbished and people will be able to enjoy them for years to come. And the home of Del Boy Only Falls and Horses will remain for us to come and see. So here we are in another modern housing estate in Acton and in front of us is South Acton Station. I think this possibly might have been a level crossing once somewhere around here um, before this road became pedestrianised. So this is our first one on London Overground. We're going to travel from here to Acton Central. So we're going to go on this side there is a footbridge which is also looks like it's used by people just crossing from one side to the other. It doesn't have ticket barriers this station, the first Acton station we've been to which doesn't have ticket barriers so we're going to catch a train to Stratford. So this station opened in 1880 and it had been served by trains in and out of Broad Street so um, they'd have gone from Broad Street around the North London line to Richmond, a bit like they do now except they don't go to Broad Street the train will catch will go to Stratford. So this is Southampton. And here comes our train. So we're going to jump on this London Overground train and um, we're going to go to Action Central.
So here we are, Acton Central. We have been to every Acton station in London, all seven of them. I say in London because there is one other Acton station, but it's not here in Acton at all. It's Acton Bridge up in Cheshire on the West Coast Main Line, which we're not going to go to today, but maybe one day. So Acton Central, it opened in 1853. Again, it was just called Acton. This central suffix was added in 1925. What I find interesting about this station is if you look, there's third rail and overhead. It's where the third rail runs out and the um, overhead commences. So down the end of the platform, it tells drivers of class 387 units to put the pantograph down because um, there's not much use beyond there. And um, at this end of the platform, we have it says 387 and 7110 units, put your pantograph up, pan up. Because obviously if you don't, you're not going to get very far because the third rail runs out literally at the level crossing. It's also quite unusual to have a level crossing at a London station. So I'm going to make my way out to the seat barriers and uh, we'll have one last look at the station from the outside. And that will complete our little trip around Acton. And maybe one day we could do one of the other state areas like Ealing perhaps that's got more than one station but we'll, we'll wait and see. So this is Acton. So the pubs are open. I might have to go and get a point somewhere myself after doing this. Anyway, there's the level crossing. This is Acton Central Station. Oh it's the old station. That's that's cool. The old station, most of the old station building is now a pub. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, little trip around Acton. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to take this off, can't I? Thank you very much for watching. Um, please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And from Acton Central Station, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.